Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, peace about your friends and let us have a good time together. Uh, today we are going to answer comments about previous videos and we will see how Muslims they do their best. <clears throat> we will go actually over all the comments one by one, as, you know, I mean, but the purpose is to go over Muslim comments. <coughs> uh, let us see. Okay. <clears throat> Here we have a first comment from a Muslim <coughs> in Arabic. You know, one of the astonishing things about Muslims, it doesn't matter what you talk about. The answer about things have nothing to do. Actually, there's no answer. It's the guy, he's just posting a verse. Uh, chapter noon. Okay, why well, you are posting for me chapter noon? Chapter 68, verse 1 to 9. I mean, how embarrassing it is. Mr. Uthman, if you know what this chapter is about, you will die laughing. Okay. Noon, by the pen, and what is inscribed, the inscribed. Two, you are not, O Muhammad, by the favor of your Lord, a madman. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Don't you notice that you did something wrong here? I mean, you missed something? What noon mean? What noon by the pen? What does that mean? You see, the Muslims are posting for us supposedly to learn about their religion. Okay, I want to learn about your religion. Noon, and then Allah, he say by the pen. What does that mean? Are you drunk? I know that you are posting for me Quran, but are you drunk? You need to tell me what noon and by the pen and what they scribe mean. What what does that mean? Do we have any Muslim have an idea what does that mean? <clears throat> because what you are posting for me, either proving that uh, Muhammad is crazy or he's a smart. Tell me what does that mean? Right? <clears throat> uh, Mr. Muhammad Rizal Ali. Uh, no, we don't respect false people. Jesus, he said, and he called hypocrite people, you are the sons of your father, the devil. So we don't respect people who they are misleading people. So you have wrong understanding about Christianity. Are you there, Muhammad Rizal? Are you there? Jesus, he called false teachers, he called them evil, satanic. He called them people of hell. So we don't respect your prophet. Jesus, he said, who is the father of all lies? Who is the father of all lies? Shaitan, right? Satan. That is your prophet. So, if you are a man, I can open Skype just for you, and we can discuss that. Now, we go back to Mr. Uthman, who posed for us, and instead of Ali, instead of uh, talking about respect, I mean, look who is talking. He called us kuffar, he called us infidel, he called us dirty, he called us animals, he called us donkeys, he called us dogs, he called us all names. And he want to kill us, he want to take, take our wives. Right? No, it's written with gentleness and respect to those who deserve respect. Jesus, he said, if you go to a town and this town refuse you, reject you, huh? clean your sandals from the dust of that town and don't throw your jewels under the pigs. Don't throw your jewels under the pigs. Did you hear it? No, I'm, I'm showing you what is written in my Bible. You know, you know, just get out of here. I mean, guys, am I quoting for him the Bible or not? I mean, this guy, this idiot, and they said to me, why you call them donkeys? I just said to you, Jesus said, don't throw your jewel under the feet of the pigs. And then you say to me, 
uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you obviously you have wrong understanding. Idiot. Did I answer you from the Bible? So when the Bible speak about us speaking in a nice, gentle way, well, there is people who speak to us nice, gentle way, and even when they curse us, they, they, you know, we, we pray for them. But doesn't mean they are not going to live like pigs and act like one. Like when your prophet, he go after a child, she is six years old. Ask any woman, what do you think about a, ch a child molester? They will say he's a pig. So what do you want to say to your prophet? So you try to change the topic because you are a coward. And we answer you from the Bible. Now, why you don't focus with me, Rizal, and be a man, and tell me what noon means? We have a problem here. Your brother from Turkey, he post, post for me, I'm assuming he's from Turkey. He posts for us a verse saying, noon by the pen. What does that mean? I will shave my 45 meter beard if you can't tell me what does that mean. Because you are an idiot. No, I don't respect you. You are an idiot. I mean, what does have to do with respect anyway? When I say idiot, because you are an idiot, you cannot answer your Quran, yet you want to teach us our Bible. This is how idiot you are. So who is the Muslim who tell us what this verse means? You Muslim post for us verses. Shouldn't you know what does that mean? It's going to be funny if you do not know what does that verse mean. People will laugh at you and will call you idiots if you do not know what that verse means. So you post it for us. Are you saying to me that you are posting for me a verse and you Muslim do not know what this verse means? Huh? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? So you notice here, those Mohammedan, we should not call him Muslims, and what Muslims? Those Mohammedan, they worship Muhammad, they are the slaves of Muhammad. Who is a Mohammedan can tell us what that verse means? Mr. Uthman, uh, Uthman, are you the same Uthman who poses verse? Mr. Uthman, he says, how many contradictions in the Bible? Okay, hold on. I will go with you. Let us say there's a contradiction, which is not true. But if there is a contradiction in the Bible, how your stupid prophet, he says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Huh? I will go with you. When you are a prophet, he said to them, bring me the Torah. And he put his hand in the top of it, and he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So let us say Mr. Uthman is saying something right for the sake of argument. He said that the Bible have contradiction, which is absolutely false. We can refute any. But if is that is true, how your prophet he say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee? Can you answer me, Uthman? Ottoman Empire, which we shattered like, like mosquitoes. And now we have a three American base in the heart of Turkey. This is how empire you are, to the point you accept American soldiers to protect you. You see the empire? Yeah. So, who is going to answer? When Muhammad, he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee, take an oath. Read carefully, he said, Muhammad, he took the cushion from underneath of him. Look how much respect he is showing the Torah. The Muslims don't respect the Torah because they are potatoes. Muhammad is a tomato. He then withdrew the cushion from beneath him and he placed the Torah on it saying, I believe in thee and in him who revealed thee. So did Muhammad believe in the contradiction? So stupid you say the Bible have contradiction Stupid Muhammad saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So who is on who is of you is more stupid? Do we have any Muslim here or now they will hide? They heard nothing, they saw nothing. You want to play the monkey game? 
Don't talk, don't tell. Huh? <clears throat> Uh, get 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 lost, uh, uh, Rizal. We answer you about that, and we showed you what the Quran, what the Bible says about you. And don't waste our time. And notice, guys, we are talking about a topic. They tried their best. A Muslim now is asking me to speak to him with respect. Or do you do you believe to respect me? You call me pig. You call me animal. You call me donkey. You call me najis kafir. And yet he want he want us to speak in respect. They will do anything to change the topic. Why? Because the topic is embarrassing. I just, I'm just answering the comment. Why they don't want to? I mean, this is your comment. Known by the pen and what was, what they inscribe. What is the noon and what is the pen and what they inscribe? Any Mohammedan? Who want to say to me again the word respect? <laughs> Who want to say to me contradiction? Huh? <clears throat> no one called me donkey. Oh, so you are saying to me that you, okay? Are you saying okay? Let let me let us make it clear, Mister uh, uh, Uthman. Are you saying that the one who used the word donkey, calling people donkey, is bad? Say this. Say yes. I challenge you, in the front of everybody. Can you? A challenge for you to say the one who say the word donkey to people is stupid. Or you will not dare to say it. You will not, right? <clears throat> Oh boy. This is your Quran. Speaking actually about you. People like you. In chapter 65, verse number 5 says, the similarity of those who carry the book and here he's talking about the book of Moses and this is you you come to us with a verse from the book of Moses and you try to make fun of it because you are a donkey look what the Quran says the similarity of those who carry the book of Moses is the same as an ass a donkey carry huge tomes in the top of him but you don't understand it do you see it? They have no answer. Now we go back to noon, which they are trying to avoid to speak about it. You know this Muslim, do you know I talk about the topic? What noon mean? The guy he posts for us noon, I'm getting dizzy, somebody help me. What noon mean? You Muslim, you post for me this comment, I want to learn. Who want to teach me? He posts for us, I don't know even why he posts this verse. Are you drunk? Noon. Chapter 68, verse 1 to 9. Let us go there. Maybe the Muslim will not answer what you can do. I mean, that's it. That's it. Don't waste your time. They won't answer. They are cowards. They don't know. How they can answer? They don't know. How they can answer something they don't know? It's a stupid cult. Muhammad is copying from other book and he himself do not know. What noon mean? <clears throat> Anyone knows? Anyone have an idea? Mayday, mayday. Let us see noon, which Muslims are refusing to answer. <clears throat> this is the cousin of Muhammad. May Allah protect his private part because the virgins are waiting. And I assure you, that Ibn Abbas, he bought an insurance over his private part because he want to be sure that his private part will work when he arrived at the heaven of noon. Noon! 
from the narration of the authority on the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon noon Allah says he Allah swear by noon uh, Allah swear by noon not afternoon <laughs> Which is the wheel that carry the earth? <laughs> Brother, Allah swear by noon, which is a wheel carrying the earth. Are you serious? Yes, brother. Are you there, Muslims? This is why the Muhammadan, they don't want to answer. They pose for us a verse. They don't dare to explain it because the second we start reading, we will die laughing. Any Muslim have an idea why Allah swear by noon, which carry the earth and the top of it? Noon is a wheel. I saw him in the cartoon. Actually, I have to, I have to be witness. I saw a cartoon when I was a kid, Russian cartoon, where a wheel, he was like a carrying uh, like an island in the top of him. There's trees, palm trees, and even there's girls wearing bikini. I wanted to go there, but this idiot moon, moon keep moving. I mean, I, I, I bought a ticket, we fly, and it's gone. What you can do is a whale. A whale carrying the earth in the top of it. Is that Quran and science? The one you talk about Muslims always? A Muslim saying to us, why cannot he? His name is Kamatos Karamat, Karamatos Jabura. Why cannot he? Why the world cannot carry the earth? Yeah, the good question, why cannot? <laughs> Any Muslim have an idea? What led the Muslims into such an explanation? Anyone? I want to learn from you. Forget about, you know, Christian prince, you don't like Islam. You say Christian prince is lying. I'm showing you a reference. And the funny about Muslims, Muhammadan, we show them in the front of them from their website. And we read it from their website and say they are lying. Any Muhammadan? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, my friend. Any Muhammad want to answer? What is that? Why you Muslim don't make a Quran and science video about this? I want to see your scholar, Zakir Naik. If we call Zakir Naik now, and we ask him, hey Zakir, what the... Ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. Christopher Prince, I'm listening to the program. You don't need to call me. Hey, hey hold on, Zach and I, you're listening to me right now? Exactly. Actually, I want to carefully. Because we are collecting all the information about you. And we are going to send the Mohammedan to get you. Hey, Zach and I, you send the Mohammedan to get me, not to get me. Still, you cannot find me because I am riding the real noon. First of all, there is no way you cannot do a noon. Because noon is a whale and he could even know him. You stupid idiot. How he is deep in the ocean, but he is carrying the earth. Exactly. Because the earth is in the top of the wheel. Okay. And how deep the wheel? You idiot. The wheel can go to hundreds of miles down the earth. Hundreds of miles. How deep is the ocean? Hundreds of miles. Are you sure? Exactly. Actually, according to Theotet, his name is Abdul Balbula Falafel. His name was what? Abdul Balbula Falafel? Are you, are you sure not Hamas? I mean... I heard this name before, but I am not sure where. Are you sure? Christopher, first of all, we don't talk. And we don't lie to people. Like you are a liar. Okay, hold on. So the name of the scientist, uh, by the way, the, the, the name, I mean, I mean, he's familiar, familiar for me. Where is he from? He's Japanese. He's from Japan. And he's with Japanese. And actually, his real name is Yama Idolai Yama. Uh -huh. Yama Yama, okay. I was wondering a second ago his last name was Falafel. Now he became Yama Idullah Yama. No problem. So now, what is the whale who carried the earth? Christopher. First of all, Ibn Abbas was trying to explain to us as if we are babies and we are kids. If you have a kid and you want to explain to them something, what do you say to them? Um, 
uh, you say something for them to understand exactly we are Muslim and Muslims are like kids you have to tell them a story like a cartoon and that will make them remember it okay so what is the cartoon about whale carrying the earth so Allah swear by noon and noon is a whale carrying the earth what we learn from that I will tell you first of all Allah was busy and he didn't know what to swear with he took around him he said the real he said I can't swear by the real then he looked at the trees he said I can't swear by the trees and then he said you know I had to swear by something very big so I swear by the whale because it's a bigger creature Zach I'm really, really so upset now. You just said because he could not find something bigger and he will not swear by something small. Your God, Allah, he swear by the fig. Even by olive. It's so small. Do you know how small the fig? By the fig. Exactly. At that time, when Allah, he swear, he could not find the fig to swear by it because he ate it. And he could not find the olive oil to swear by it. The only thing was there in front of him, it was the way, because he was doing fishing. He was doing what? Fishing. Oh, you mean fishing? Exactly. Okay, well, Zakir, I don't know what to say. You, you refer to me, so Allah, he was fishing, and there's nothing around him to swear by except the whale. Do you think he did fish the whale? This is why we cannot find him no more. Exactly. Allah, he got the whale, and he swear by the whale, because this is the biggest fish he got in his history. Did, did Allah take... Uh, picture with the whale after he fish it i'm not sure of that i'm going to take a dictator in the hadith thank you very much i have to go now because my four wives are waiting for me zakir naik you have four wives i have four wives yet you yes you i have four wives you zakir naik have four wives so what's wrong with you man i don't know if i turn the fan you will fly how you can survive with four wives they will kill you man this is very easy because Allah, he blessed us and he gave us the power and the emergency. The power of what? Emergency. Em emergency? Exactly. Because having for women is like having emergency 24 hours, 7 days a week. Um, why you have emergency 24 hours, 7 days a week if you have four wives? Because you idiot, you have four mother-in-law. And if you have four mother-in-law, you go greedy. Okay, thank you very much, Zach. And I just hang up. You hang up, Christian man. Just hang up, man. That's it. We're done. Okay, thank you. I'm not going to hang up. Okay, don't hang up. Here we go. Stay with us. I'm going to hang up then. Oh, okay, hang up. I'm not going to hang up. Zachary Naik, what's wrong with you? You hang up, you don't hang up. I don't care. Exactly. And I'm going to hang up now. What the heck? Muslims, after all this conversation with Zachary Naik, we got what? Nothing. We got a God. He swear by a wheel. And this wheel is carrying the earth in his back. Anybody? Anyone? I wish I can talk to the guy who posed the comment. And by the way, that I mean, the, did the movie over? No, we just started. Look, so he says Allah swear by noon, which is the whale that carry the earth. Oh, yeah, my chair is moving. I think the whale is moving on the on its back. I'm I'm so glad we are in his back, not in not not between his legs. Uh, the whale don't have legs. Hey, come on, in Islam he will have legs. Who care? In his back while in the water while in the water look at the deep explanation guys i mean if this is not from god how he knew that the whale is in the water think about it because there's many options it is possible that the whale is in the space it's possible too that the whale is a flying it's possible that the whale is walking and it is possible that the whale neither walking neither flying neither in the water he is in the refrigerator so allah and his prophet and his scholars want to make things so clear for us so while he is in the water so now all the confusion in the story is gone it's so clear like the sun the whale in the water that's it take just take a note please take a note and then 
<laughs> and this is called now the 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 uh, the marine science, the the science of the deep ocean, and beneath which is the bowl. Look what? Look what? Beneath the whale, there is a bowl. May Allah bowl you. So now we, we started with noon, which is a whale carrying the earth in its back. And then we find that under the whale, there's a bowl. Hmm. Somebody saying that this is met metaphor, met metaphor. This is metaphor. What's metaphor about it? <laughs> And then we continue. And under the bowl, there's a rock. <laughs> there's only one rock. I mean, listen. Please listen and focus. I don't know. I have to use my art. You know, I am very good in art. You know, I I was the best in the in the whole world in one day. Picasso, he used he swear by me. He said, uh, actually, he didn't swear by me. He swear by no. So let us do this. <clears throat> so we have a wheel. This is Mr. Wheel. In the top of the Mr. Wheel, his name is Noon. Take a note, Noon. There is the Earth. Uh, this is our house here. You know. Yeah. This is this is the Kaaba. This is the Kaaba. The center of the wheel. You know the Kaaba. Here, this is the house of Aisha. Here, the house of Abu Bakr. Here, uh, this is Donald Trump. Here, Donald Trump. Okay. So now we have the Earth in the top of the wheel. Now under the wheel, there is a ball. Let's draw the ball. Mmm, ball. And the ball will be carrying the wheel on his horn. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm very good in art. Look at this. I mean, perfect. I mean, who can? Unbelievable. My mother will be proud, proud about me if she see what her son can do with art. She always thought I cannot draw. I wish she can see it. Look at this, how beautiful it is. I feel like crying now because it's amazing how good it is. And look at the tail, how beautiful it is. No wrinkles, nothing. Absolutely beautiful. So now we have the earth in the top. We have the whale. Oh, I have something missing here in the whale. I mean, come on. Have you ever heard the whale without eyes and mouth and eyelashes? This is a Muslim whale. Like Prophet Muhammad, his eyelashes like, like, like the wings of the of, of an airplane. <clears throat> so then, now we have the uh, the earth in the top. We have the whale underneath, and we have the bowl. And now, under the bowl, there is a rock. Rock and roll. Rock, rock. Let us rock. Rock. Let's rock. Rock. I mean, how Muhammad he got all this knowledge? I mean, how many of us is not really astonished with this? Look at this. How they knew this man 1400 years ago? How Prophet Muhammad and Allah were able to swear by noon, which is carrying the earth, and under noon there's a ball and under the ball there's a rock hmm? are we done no you are dreaming because still there's more secret allah will reveal for us now under the rock yeah brother under the rock uh-huh a brother under the rock i got it under the rock what is next a brother under the rock, okay, a, uh, under the rock, okay, we got it, what is under the rock? Uh, uh, there's a dust. Mm -hmm. Under the rock, there's dust. <sighs> ah. 
how I'm going to draw this now. You see, I was able to draw the earth in the top because the earth is a flat, as you see in the top of the wheel. And I was able to draw the ball, okay. But how I'm going to draw the dust? That is something. However, I would do my best, excuse me. In French, you say, excuse moi. Let us try. Dust. Okay, so this is dust. 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 But what kind of dust? They are so big, man. You cannot make dust like this. This is so huge. What kind of dust is so huge like this? What Donald Trump will say about this drawing now? You know? Okay. Hey, dust. Under the rock, there is dust. 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 Brother, it is any for me saying about the reason for the dust. Where the dust is coming from, brother? I mean, why it's getting dusty there? I mean, I got it. There is a rock, and there is a water, and yet there is okay, because. By the way, I forgot to uh, to draw the water. By the way, hold on. Well, we have to make the water here. The water, 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 water. This is the ocean. Ah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, I remember. Shaitan, he made me forget. There is water here. All of this is water. He brother. So the bull under the whale, and he live under the water. Is that a submarine bowl? I mean, how there is water, the whale in the water. And then under the, the whale, there is a bowl. How in the world the bowl is able to live in the water? I will give you three options. This bowl is a submarine bowl. Or this bowl have an oxygen container with him or this bowl is a fish but he look like a bowl i got it this is a bowl fish alhamdulillah we solved the problem the kuffar they cannot make fun of us no more <laughs> And the brother, are we finished with this? No! The story is even getting more exciting. And then, brother, look at this decency of the reporter. Here, this is how you have to respect them. You cannot, you cannot ignore this. Look. So, under the rock, there's a dust. And none, none knows what is under the dust, save Allah. That's it. Stop there. Stop there. This is a knowledge only have to do with Allah. I mean, look. Here you see the decency. Not even a single one of them. He claimed that he knew what is behind the dust. When the dust, you stop lying. You stop, you stop your knowledge. That's it. They said here, under the dust, what is under the dust? Only Allah knows best. That's it. Our knowledge is stopped there. It's not a ball, it's a ball, ball. My friend, who cares, Christian Prince, this is, the English of a Christian Prince is the, is the best. Shakespeare, he's, he was my cousin, his name is Shakespeare. Don't focus on my English now, you know what I'm talking about. This is what you are worried about, ball, ball, who care? I can make a song about it. There's a song that says, What about it, daddy, ball, da -da. Uh-huh, you know, bado bolo, da da bol. Come on, you know, let, let it go. I mean, don't focus on my English. I'm not teaching English here. So, brother and sister, the decency here you cannot find in the Bible. Muslims, they don't lie. They stop. They say, from here on, we do not know what is underneath. That's it. A lie. This is the limit of Allah knowledge. From here on, only Allah knows. Please stop. Decency. Not like the Christians. They lie to us. Do you, are you getting my point? <laughs> oh boy. Ball, huh? Ball. 
Okay, I will not use the word ball no more because I don't know how to say it. Mm, are you happy now? <laughs> All right. So, are we done? No! Things is getting even more... Okay, I was going to answer all the comments. I mean, I stopped with one comment, we need two hours. And then, the brother, under the dust, save no one, save Allah. Now, we want to go to more details. Mm -hmm. The name of the whale is Lewish. Eh? I mean, even even at that time, they used to name their bets. The name of the whale, Lewish. Is that Lewish for a car? <laughs> The name of the whale is Loish. Uh, I mean, with Islam, all information is received. We go back millions of years. How we knew, how we will know, if Allah did not help us and gave us the name of the whale. Right now, all of you, if you live close to the ocean, you go to the beach. You stand next to the beach and you start calling, Hey, Lewis, Lewis, and you will see the whale jumping in the top of the water like a horse. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, sir, I'm here. His name is Lewis. Are you sure? <laughs> so, brother and sisters, his name of the whale is Lewis. Tick, tick, tick his name. But hold on, this is not the final name. Muslims have more names. And it's said his name is Lotaya. Like, what the heck? I thought his name is Lewis. I was teaching the kids for the last hour to take notes. And now you are saying to me his different name. And it said his name is Lotaya. Okay, so uh, there's two options. His ID have two faces. One, it says Lotaya. The other one says Lewis. And the name of the bull is Bahamut. Oh boy. If I go behind Bahamut, by the way, the word Bahamut is mentioned in the Bible, but the idiot Muhammad. <laughs> oh boy. Do we have any Muslim any comment? Hmm. Who is here first time? Give me one if you are here first time. If you are here, first time, give me one. First time, first time you visit our channel. <sighs> Man. Islam is fun. We have to agree. I mean, we have to admit. We have to say the truth. I mean, how for how long you can deny the truth that Islam is amazing? There's only one person here first time. Only one person out of almost 700 people. No way. All, all of you are, are, are old customers. <laughs> Repeated customers. <laughs> Oh, we have to. Uh, the names are start coming. Well, I have a bad news for you, the first one. You will be addicted and you will keep coming. And later you might suffer from divorce because your wife, she will be upset from you because you sit behind the computer and you don't leave. So I'm warning you. First time, leave now. Otherwise, you will be addicted. Second reason to leave now, before it's too late, you will gain weight because you will laugh a lot. According to the actors, Bahamut, yeah, he's a very well-known Bahamut, I know him, Dr. Bahamut, the, uh, Foshito, what's his name, Fashio, Foshito, the guy for Corona, the idiot. Uh, if you if you laugh a lot, you gain weight. So you will gain weight. Trying to lose weight, don't you? You will gain weight here. Oh boy. Especially the girls. I'm warning you. Mm -hmm. So we continue. So the name of the boat is Bahamut, and some they say its name is Talahut. If, 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 if. Or Liyawana. I mean, look how close the names to each other. I mean, from Bahamut to Talahut to Liyawana. What is that? I mean, what Liyawana have to do with Bahamut? And You see, Bahamut and Talahut are close to each other. They sound like cousin. But Liyawana, that is really Liyawana thing. 
The whale in the sea is called Edward. Like, hold on. You just told us the name of the whale in the sea is Bahamut, you idiot. Now his name is Edward. Ah, uh, sorry. The sea, the sea. God, it's, it's my getting old, man. The sea have a name. The sea which carry the earth. It's called Edward. Not the 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 the, the whale. Like this guy, he don't even know how to read English. So the name of the sea is called Edward. Let me let me type the name of the sea here, so you guys you will not be misled. You think maybe this is the Pacific or some, or something? No, this is the biggest. This is the biggest sea ever. It's called Edward. Let me type it here for you because most of you are uneducated in English and other languages. Ed. I'm typing in Arabic. I will make it simple for you so you can remember it. Ed and what? Put them together at what? Okay, still complicated. I will make it more more easy. Add W add. I think this is better now. Okay, still some of you are com uh, okay. You know, I don't know. Okay, let me make it more easier. A D W W W like when you say on the website like W W W <laughs> and then A and D so okay uh, this is add word add repeat after me everybody in the room add what with the name of the C Add so if you go to travel agency and you try to go there, you know, you tell them the name of the sea because they might give you the wrong ticket, brother. Be careful. There's many seas. This one is called Edward. Okay, we go back to the topic. Edward, huh? Sure, you need to write it down. What's, are you kidding me? You have to write it down. I mean, this is it's complicated too. And then, brother, the sea called Edward, and it's like a small ball in a huge sea. Hmm. Uh, I did not get it. Okay. So the whale is in the sea called Edward. And then it says, and it is like a small ball in a huge sea. What is that? Small ball in a huge sea. What it is like small ball in a huge sea? Uh, huh? My brain froze here. The sea is in Hollywood Rock <laughs> all the sea in Hollywood Rock all the sea is inside the Hollywood Rock brother that's really so good to be true any one of you have like connection with the National Geographic if any of you work with National Geographic Please tell NASA as a graphic to make some investigation about the Hollywood Rock where nearby there is 4,000 cracks. You know what? I believe this one. I believe you have 4,000 cracks, the one who made this story in your head. I think you have even more. There's 4,000 cracks. <laughs> I mean, look the decency. They counted even how many cracks down in the ocean, in the sea, in the in the in the rock. This is where the water coming from. Like, come on. So let me make it simple for you. We go back to the drawing. This is the rock, okay? And now the rock have four thousand crack, crack, crack. You know? I don't know how to explain to you. You guys are so naive. And I, and I always spend my life just uh, to crack, crack, you know the crack, crack. There is a crack, a 4,000 crack, count with me. Okay, guys, come come tomorrow, I will be counting. Crack number one, crack number two, crack number four, crack number 10, 20, 20, 24, 25, 
they crack number, you know, you know, you crack one and a crack. And I mean, you know, can I crack, crack? Okay, now we are in the crack number 3,999 crack. And now one crack, 4,000, Allahu Akbar. Finally, we have 4,000 cracks. And this is where the water is coming from, brother. I mean, who can deny this? There's like a million videos in YouTube about Quran and science. Now I understand why in the movie they say, give me a crack of cocaine. Eh? Do you think there's a connection? <laughs> Now is the story over, guys? I wanna I wanna answer the other comment. We stuck with one comment for two hours. Let us move on. And the, from the each crack, brother, yeah, I mean things getting serious, man. And the, from each crack, water spring out to the earth. And it's also said that the new like what also said. So all of this garbage was also said. Look, look. Now we arrive to find out that noon is Allah. Can you believe it? Look what he will say. And it's also said that noon is one of the name of Allah. <laughs> in the beginning of the story, noon was a whale carrying the earth at the top of it. And that the whale, there is water. And under the, under the whale, there is water. He's in the water, and under the whale there's a ball, and under the ball there's a there, there, there's a rock, and under the rock there's a crack, and four thousand cracks, and water coming from, and then finally suddenly they switch one billion degree, and suddenly the name of noon is the name of Allah. <sighs> Do we have any Muslim here? So the will Allah turned to be, I mean the will noon turned to be Allah at the end? Is that your final answer? Can we negotiate? From an animal carried by a bull inside the sea, in the top of a rock, where there's 4,000 cracks. Are you saying there's 4,000 cracks under Allah? Now you know why when we ask the Muslim what that verse mean, nobody in the chat want to answer. They keep changing the topic. Did you notice why? Do you see why they don't want to answer? Now, anyone remember the word noon appear in different place? Anyone remember? Who remember? Let us see of you who, who have good memory, who listen to me carefully. Who remember? Anyone? Hmm. Anyone? Nobody remember? None in Catholic noon. No, it's noon, not none. Noon, this is noon. This is not none, my friend. Don't mix between <laughs> none. Is <it? laughs> you people are funny. I love you. I love you. Okay, let us go here just to remind you. Is the sound strong? There's strong wind. All right. Mm. Here there's a story of a prophet, Muslim prophet, his name is Mr. Green. Do you remember it? 
Do you remember it? Who remember it? Mr. Green. And then, suppose the Moses, he was claiming that he knew the most in this earth. Allah, he said to him, don't say that. I have a servant who knew more than you. Moshe or Moshe, he told him, Allah, who is that? Send me to him to learn from him. So Allah, he sent him in a scholarship <laughs> to Al-Bahrain. You know Al-Bahrain? <laughs> Al-Bahrain next to Qatar. <laughs> so he sent him to Al-Bahrain. And he told him to go there because there you will find, uh, you know, uh, you will find Mr. Al-Khadr. You know, Mr. Al Khadr. And he told him the way to find Al Khadr, you take with you a whale, again, a whale, hoot. And then when the whale come back to life, that's mean you are next to the fountain of youth, which nobody touched that water and don't come to life. But here I remember, if you remember with me, and this is why I'm coming here that Moshe, he have a servant, his name, Yeshua bin Nun. I will die one day laughing at this stupid religion. And then the Muslim will say, Allah killed him. Just wait. Do you see Noon? Look, his name is Shua bin Noon, but he is in charge of the whale. <laughs> and the whale, his name is Noon. <laughs> I mean, I am a servant and my last name is Noon and I am in charge of the wheel Noon. Here they say, the Muslim translation, they say, they take with them the fish, there's no fish, it says hoot. So they took with them the fish in the basket. Have you ever heard of a whale in the basket? How small he is, must be macro, macro Noon. In the basket and whenever, wherever the fish is lost, follow it. So Allah told them, okay, Allah said, Allah said, huh? Allah said, take with you the wheel. Put it in the basket. And wherever you lose the whale, that's mean you follow it. You follow what? The whale. <laughs> oh. You follow the whale. Are you sure? If we lost the whale, we will lose it where? In the water. How we can follow the whale? We dive with it, we will show you how. But anyway, I wanted to show you the connection. So what happened is, they carry, carry with them the whale, and the one who is carrying it, his name is Yeshua Ibn Nun, Ibn in, 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 the, in the Arabic, mean this a son of. So he is the son of Nun. Look like this family, they are a specialty, is whale. <laughs> And then the story continue, and then they keep going, keep doing, keep doing, and then they arrive to the rock. Look with me carefully. You see, guys, how you connect things, information together? All those things are legions exist from the time of Gilgamesh. You know Gilgamesh's story? How many of you know, you know what Gilgamesh is? How many of you knows Gilgamesh? All of those legions coming from centuries long long before Islam that there's a fountain it's called the fountain of life and when you drink from it you live forever and we find those stories exist until now I mean if you watch the, the movie the part of the Caribbean they speak about the fountain of year of life the fountain of youth you drink from it and you stay alive forever.
So those are ancient legions. Muhammad the fool. This is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. I mean, ask yourself, can the Muslims say this story is fake? No, this is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Bukhari. And it's even mentioned in the Quran. But here in the Bukhari, mentioned more in details. So here it says, at the rock, there was a water spring called Al-Hayat. Al-Hayat in Arabic means the life. What is the name of the spring? The life. And none came in touch with it, with its water, but became a life. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you I died many times I'm very old but I know where this whale and don't ask me please I know all the girls there they want to get younger and younger the only one I told her about the fountain of youth and I gave her from it my mom she is now 17 and I am 19 why because I give my mother one drop of fountain of youth a year. I told her, Mom, you want to be 16? I can increase the dose. She said, no. 17 is good. You know? And like, okay, you know, my grandma, I gave her too much, you know, what happened? She came to the bedroom and she started drinking. And then after two hours, we found her became an infant. And then after three hours, she became a sperm, and then she disappeared. And now we do not know how to find her back or to get her back. She drank too much water. So she like she went way before she became she was exist. True story, by the way. I have witnesses for it. Jibril. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> oh, so none came in touch with it. It's water, but became a life. And who is the one telling this story, Prophet Muhammad? Are you sure? Hmm. Do we have any Muhammad in here? Can you imagine how many girls now they will start contacting me, asking for some water, please? Hmm? Yeah, come on. I mean, I'm going to get rich now. I mean, I don't know how we're going to charge for a drop of water. I cannot give you a drop. This is too much. You might, you know, depend on your size. And I mean, or your age too. If you are already like young and you're 80, let us say, and I give you one drop, you might jump, go back to uh, childhood. You became six years old, matured like Aisha. Uh, Abdul Idiot saying to me, what's your point? Get out of here. Get out of here. I mean, if all of this, you did not get the point, you must be a donkey. What's your point? The point is you are a donkey to believe in such a garbage. Get out of here. What's your point? What's your, what's your point? What's your point? I mean, obviously, there's no point. True story. This is the only true story. I mean, all those people who die because of Corona, we can give them a drop of the what, fountain of youth or life, and they will come back to life. And the Abdul, after all of this, he said to me, what's your point? Do you see our frustration over what we do? I mean, I mean, honestly. And they said to me, why you say donkey? Even if I'm speaking to a donkey, he will get it faster. What's your point? This is your prophet talking. What's your point? Fountain of youth. What's your point? Do you know actually why they call him Al-Khadr? We explained that to you, right? Actually, the Muslim explained to us in the, in the interpretation. They call him Al-Khadr. Khadr means green. Why? Because this guy, Al-Khadr, he drank from the fountain of life. And since then, if he sit in any place, even if the grass is dead dry, that grass will turn a green. So they call him Mr. Green, Prophet Green. Hmm. How many of you watched the previous video about Allah is a snake according to the Islamic dictionary? How many of you? Please don't forget to watch it and download it because later you will ask me where the reference, where it says that. Real CP, I remember you said this, you said that, you know? Now let us continue with the comment because, I mean, I'm not going to stay forever with one comment. Let us continue so we can finish them. Otherwise, we will stay here for the coming 10 years. <clears throat> 
Okay, here those are, uh, uh, look at this comment. This is a comment by a Christian, Army of Light. CP gave us idea how to, re re I think you want to say refute. Refute Muslims questions word for word coming out of their mouth. Exactly, this is what we should do. You see, this is why I say, you know, I don't like how some Christian they debate Muslims. You focus, focus on what they are saying. Don't, you know, you can beat them from what they just say to you. <clears throat> from what they just say to you. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. You know what? Today I, I heard the, uh, the truck. I thought this is ice cream. And I, it came again. I found that this is a guy. He is giving gifts to kids. He's Santa Claus. <laughs> I was wondering who in the world want to sell ice cream in this school. So it was a it was a, a guy. He is using the you know the sound for they they use it for ice cream so kids come out, and he was giving free gifts. You know, yeah. He's an he's a he's an African American, very nice person. I spoke to him, and I say, said, uh, I, you know, I thought you are an ice cream guy. <laughs> Anyway, so let us continue here with the comment. Uh, uh, give us the link for the snake. Uh, let us give him the link for the snake. No problem. Here we go. We give it live for you. Live on air. Oh, I am not signed here. I will do it later. This is the link, guys. You can post it for this guy. This is the link for the snake. Allah is a snake from the Islamic dictionary. Actually, it's not a snake, it's a serpent, which is exactly what the Bible says, that the serpent deceived him. So Allah is the shaitan himself. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. The same Muslim, he is posting again another, another stupid verse. I mean, each time he posts something, we laugh at it. Look at this. Chapter 29, verse number 45. <clears throat> but is, that's not in the Bible. What does that mean? That Allah is a serpent? No, in the Bible it says that the serpent deceived, uh, deceived Adam. This is what the Bible describes Satan. Uh, <clears throat> it's a symbolic for Satan. Uh, this Muslim he posed for me, recite, O Muhammad, what have been revealed to you of the book. First of all, uh, it says in Arabic, Uhiya, inspired to you, not revealed to you. So your translation is stupid. And based on that, the verse is stupid because how you say to Muhammad, recite what I is inspired when Muhammad never received inspiration. If I take the word here, the sentence, and we go to the Quran, you see, this is why you have always once a Muslim, anything he posts for you, you can you can get him busted. Anything. If we go right now to the Quran and we search for the sentence he posts for us. And then we choose some interpretations, I mean, some translations. For me, I do not need translation because simply this is my language. As an example, the same sentence appear many times in the Quran. Chapter 18, verse 27. Chapter 29, verse number 45, which he quoted for us. Chapter 35, verse number 31. Chapter 42, verse number 52. So we will choose the one he chose for us. All right? Okay. See, here the translate, translator said, by inspiration but don't you think muslim that is a stupid statement to say because muhammad never been inspired don't you muslim you say that allah he sent him jibreel guys if an angel he come to me and he squeezed me three times and then he spoke to me by mouth is that inspiration is that what is considered inspiration what do you think if a, if a man he come to your door and he knock at your door and then he shake hands with you and then he squeeze you and then he says to you something is that inspiration that is not inspiration so the verse you quote for us proven again that muhammad is a stupid person he do not know how to choose his words carefully for muhammad never received inspiration in order to say the word inspiration Inspiration is God is speaking to me in my mind. Correct, people? In my mind.
like God inspired me to say this, to tell this. But you say, Muhammad, he received Quran. All the Quran Muhammad received is from Jibreel. Not a single word was inspiration. So how this word appear here? That again, a stupid mistake from Muhammad, the false prophet. So as you see, every comment the Muslim they make is a troublemaking for them. It doesn't matter what they say. And if I continue reading the rest of the verses, we will die laughing. All right. Let us see more Muhammadan. <clears throat> okay. Here this guy, I don't know if he's a Christian or is a Muslim, I don't know. He said, I don't like how CP speak. That is rude. He said that he does not like J. Smith. Guys, did I say anywhere I did not like J. Smith? I mean, the video is still there. And it's still there, somebody will come and lie about what I said. I said, don't think I don't like what they do. I respect J. Smith. Actually, I have a video. I made a special video just to make people. I was upset because people don't watch J. Smith videos and they don't support him. Correct, guys? Remember? So look how they lie. I mean, the video is still there. I never said that. I said I like to work alone. I respect what they do. I support what they do. But I like to work alone. For I am an army by myself. Having them with me will not increase anything for me. I don't need them. Do I? <clears throat> But people are stupid. I mean, the video is there. Still, they lie about what I said. Anyway. And then he says, but you have taken people off. You can say you don't like their work, but you've been telling people off and he's really something you need to correct, please. Stupid idiot. Anyway. The guy is posting noon again. We cannot go back to noon, please. Don't, don't make us go. I mean, look, he keep posting the verse. No, no, no. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? He's obsessed with the whale. Let us escape him this time. We already answered this one. Could Allah, Femi said, could Allah be the serpent that deceive Eve, which is Satan? Obviously he is. Um, okay, here we go. Here we have a Muslim. <laughs> CP, it is your lack of understanding if you don't agree, it's your problem. Mm -hmm. Based in monotheism, there can only be one God. Mm -hmm. Okay, there can be only one God, but is your God, is that God? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secondly, Abdul. Based in monotheism, as if you are monotheist, you are not. Isn't it your God? In the Quran says, if I want to take a lahu, 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 what lahu? What lahu? Lahu have two meaning. Women to play with and sex, the F word. Actually, I can show you that from the dictionary as we speak immediately. Actually, from the same page which we were reading about Allah being the serpent. Let us go there, the same page. Here we go. Here we go. It says here, Wallahu and Nikah. <coughs> and the word Lahu mean to F somebody. What the Quran said, what the Quran said, he said, In Aradna and Natahida Lahuan, Natahadnahu, etc. Let us go to the Quran. You see, this is the word, chapter 21, verse number 17, and this is the word lehu. It is exactly as the word here in the dictionary, which is saying, wallahu and nikah, and the word lehu to f. So Allah is saying, if I want to f a woman, excuse my language, I will f someone from ourself. And this is what the verse is saying. And if you don't believe me, and the funny they say to me, it's like if you're understanding when I'm showing them their own interpretation, shall we? Let us go. Chapter 21, verse number 17. 
Here we go again. Chapter 21, verse number 17. My lack of understanding, right? Okay. Allah knows best, brother. Allah knows best. Let us see who have a lack of understanding. Hmm. Had we desire to find a diver some diversion, this is a Muslim translation, not mine. And this is Tafsir in Ajlalain, not mine. Which means it's not my understanding, you idiot. Had we desired to find a diversion which would provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child. This is your Muslim understanding. Allah speaking about what? Taking a partner. And this partner to do what with it? Lahu. And we showed you what the word Lahu mean. Actually, we can show you even from the same interpretation saying that the word Lahu mean a woman. This is why here it says, we would found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed huris. So if you Muslims, you claim that you believe in monotheism. So how Allah will take a partner from ourself if he is one? Are we following Christians? Are we following? If Allah is one God, and he have no partner. Allah here, the Muslim cannot say, he, when he said ourself, he's speaking about himself as majestic, because obviously talking about having sex with a partner. So, had we desire to have a partner, and then the Muslim explained that the partner is going to be the beautiful eyed women if it is the option. Partner, we will find it with ourselves. So, ourself, no way it means Allah is one. Because Allah will have sex with one of ourselves, which means our kind. That means there's many Allah, but in this case, Allah speaking about a female Allah, which is the same female Allah you Muslims will have sex with her when you go to heaven. That means Allah is a man, because this is a beautiful eyed huris are women. So when a Muhammadan speak about his God is being a oneness God or they believe in one God, this is a joke. When a Muslim he say our God is not a man, that is another joke. Because if Allah is not a joke, I mean if Allah is not a man, sorry, how is he saying if we want to take a partner? And he did not say by the way just partner. He said lahu. This is the word lahu here, which means a woman to f. If Allah is not a man, how he's going to do the F thing? Either he will use his nose, because you said he's not a man, or he will use his toes. How Allah will have sex with the women, you tell me. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? So when a Muslim, he make a comment saying the lack of understanding, it's very funny because I show everything I say from your books. Guys, since we start talking until now, did I show you anything except from their books? Did I show you anything from the Bible? No. Did I show you anything from Christian Prince book? I have many books. No. Everything I'm showing you from Islamic website, scholars of the Muslims, approved by them, published by them, and those are the scars who the Muslims, all Muslim in the world, they learn from them. And guess what? This is official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. The King of Jordan, he owned this website himself, who he claimed that he is from the children of Muhammad. So when a Muslim, he says to us in the comment, you have a lack of understanding, where? To us. I'm, I'm just reading what is in your books. Do you see the stupidity? How this is a lack of understanding when I'm reading to you your book. When I show you that Allah is a, is a serpent, is a snake, I showed you from your book. I did not use the Bible. So, it is your lack of understanding. If you don't agree, that's your problem. Based on monotheism, there can be only one God. Okay, so what does this have to do with my topic? What does this have to do with my topic? I mean, what does this have to do with my topic? Cartoon? 
which is the God of all times and prophets. Okay, hold on. First of all, when you say all prophet, is your prophet is a prophet? <laughs> In front of everybody. Who is a Muslim can show me a prophecy from Muhammad to make him a prophet? I mean, this guy, you keep calling him prophet, 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 prophet. Isn't the prophet is the one who prophesy? Who is a Muslim want to give me a prophecy from Muhammad? I'm listening. And watch carefully for what you wish for. Who is a Muslim can give me a prophecy of the of the prophet? He's a prophet. Give a prophet, prophet. The prophet said. The prophet said. The prophet said. The prophet said. Well, the prophet said. What the prophet said? If we go and check the Quran, we will die laughing at what the prophet said. Any Muslim can tell us a prophecy from the prophet said. Anyone? Be careful, Carolina. Bad men. Splitting the moon. That's a good one. Let us go to split the moon. That actually is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because the verse saying that the moon is split and judgment day is in the corner. <coughs> Read it and laugh. This is a clear proof that Muhammad is a fraud because he claimed that the moon splitting is the start of the judgment day. Read it carefully. The hour of the judgment is nigh. Nigh is in the corner, almost there. And the moon it left a sender. Okay. This is a prophecy Muhammad, he said, 1400 years ago, that اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر first of all the moon never split because if the moon split actually even the earth will be destroyed because it split me became two parts not a crack the Muslim they go to NASA and they copy a, a picture of NASA for the moon and they say you see this valley there's a crack there this is a valley the crack is in your head we have many of those cracks in the earth we have the great uh, the Grand Canyon we have the, the, this is the, does not mean the earth is split so when Muhammad he made this statement he exposed himself because he mentioned that the judgment day is in the corner is that your Muslim translation Muslims what this word mean let us see I'm going you see uh, uh, for me I don't read English really I mean I read it in Arabic but if we search in Prophet Google peace upon him for the word, for this word, what this word mean? Short in distance. Located short distance away. You see this dictionary? It's very close. Okay. Was it? Secondly, if I say, if I go and search for this, I will find that the same poetry Muhammad he took from Imr al Qais. If I type in the top Imr al Qais next to it, we will find where Muhammad the thief he got this story. All right. All those images here, they show us. Let us let me open the images. Hold on. <coughs> this is a poetry, amazing poetry, by the way. It's very beautiful. For a person, his name is Imr al Qais, which they say he, he was a Christian. He said, 
You will see here the line. This is telling you what Muhammad he copied from the poet. That is Sa'a wa Shaq al Qamar. Muhammad he used Qtalabat. Here it says Danat. He changed the first word. Na'isu al-Tarfi bi'aynihi. It's the same sentence. Faramani fata'ata fa'akar. He took it, put it in the Quran as it is. Fatarak nika hashim al muhtadar. You know. Ka'at is Sa'a adha wa amar. I mean, this guy, he is copying word by word from the point. This sentence, this sentence, this sentence, this one, just from one page in a point. Muhammad the thief. And this point was not about miracles of the moon splitting. The man is speaking about he saw a beautiful woman he loved. So he said, "That is Sa'a So uh, the, the hour came, he had an appointment with her or something like that. And the moon split, talking about the girl, she is so beautiful. So the moon split and show me a deer. The deer here present the girl. She is so beautiful, like a deer. And that deer, instead of me hunting him, hunting him, she hunted my heart, and my heart is coming out of my chest. Very beautiful point, actually. We cannot compare it to the Quran. We have to admit this is amazing. And here you will see, even Muhammad he used the word hur ahwarun qad hartu fi awsafihi naisu tarfi bi'ainihi hawar. The word whore. So, Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. And the Muslims, they say to us, we cannot find this poet. It's in front of you. How this poet came. Came through generation to generation to generation. We continue with the Muhammadan comment, which is not a comment, it's a cry. I feel sorry for you. I hope you get your tissue with you. So he continues saying, of course you cannot agree because otherwise you had a problem. I am the one who had a problem. Abdul, look who is talking about the problem. If you believe in monotheism and you are claiming that you follow the God of Abraham, then the God of Abraham said to Abraham to go around the Kaaba, to build the Kaaba, actually, you must not. You don't say Abraham. Abraham he fixed the Kaaba. You know, after the after the flood, the first one who built the Kaaba, who who remember, who remember, the first one who built the Kaaba, according to Muslims, is Adam. Allah he sent Adam down to Sri Lanka, and then Adam he went all the way to Mecca and he built the Kaaba. But guess what? If we go right now. And search for Adam in the hadith or even in pictures. Let us show let us show you how, how, how big Adam is. All right. Are you ready, my friend, to see the prophet Adam? The tomb of a prophet Adam, peace be upon him, 210 foot. Yeah, yeah, I'm not joking. You can go right now, search in prophet Google, peace upon him. Adam, he went, Allah, he sent him down to Sri Lanka. I'm not joking. This is what Muslims believe. According to Muslims, according to Muhammad, I can show you the hadith that Adam was very tall very tall question if adam was so tall like this how the kaaba according to this the kaaba is not even in the size of his shin i mean it's going to be funny that adam is so tall and then he built a house to go around the house and then the house is in the size of a house of a chicken chicken house a man jibril don't use bad language, otherwise I will burn you. 
Anyone will use filthy words, I will block you. You are a Christian, you are a Hindu, you are a Jew, you are a Muslim, I don't care. Watch your mouth. Everything here we say, we have to be for a reason. When we say the word penis, we say it for a reason. Speak filthy, I will send you free shipping and handling to Allah. So this is a warning. Don't speak filthy. So listen carefully. The Kaaba is a few meter high. Adam, okay, 210 foot, okay, how? Let us, let us calculate. 210 foot. Okay, let me ask Prophet Google, peace upon him, you know. Convert 210 feet into meter. 64 meter. So if Adam is 64 meter, why the Kaaba is 4 meter or 6 meters? I mean, imagine a guy, he is 64 meter tall, and yet the Kaaba is in the size of it, of not even, not, not to his knee. It's not even the size of his knee. What happened? Do you think the Kaaba shrink? Hmm? I have my own theory about this. Trump, he used the laser machine, they have it for the Pentagon, and they target at the Kaaba, and the Kaaba shrink. Hmm. As long as we are talking about the Kaaba, let us show you this. Additional proof that Islam is a fraud. The Muslim, they say to us, the one who chose the location of the Kaaba is Allah. I like that. Have you ever heard of a God, a stupid God like this, he chose the Kaaba in the location who is going to be flooded by the sewage every year? Allah chose the location of the Kaaba? Are you sure? I mean, how in the world Allah, and why Allah don't fix the location? Okay, make it higher, put your finger, Allah, put your finger underneath of the Kaaba. You can, you can lift the ground up, there is no, no flood can cover it. That's it, just, just make, like, you know, like Mimi Hijab. So, the proper spit, so that will make him, so, a God. If your God is God, and he is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba, how in the world, the house of Allah is a flood by poo-poo? Remember, Mecca does not have a sewage. Muslims they they do their poopoo -poo in a in a in a like in a in the in the ground in like they open a hole they do it in the old days you know. So when the flood come, all the poopoo -poo will be flying like a cake in the top of it and will go all of it to the Kaaba. This is a location chosen by Allah. Are you sure? Muslim will say Photoshop? No, they cannot say that because simply this is their, their they are the one is posting that, my friend. Official website too. You know, they cannot say that. And those are in the time when the cameras start coming. You know, if we go back, God knows what happened. Like you know, or, no. This is like. After they start having oil, the Kaaba was nothing. When the you know the Kaaba, it was like a savage place, a dirt around. So this is a place chosen by Allah, located by Allah, and then 
the location and remember God he flood a place according to Islam if Allah is angry from you look at those guys are walking inside the Kaaba mosque and the, the water is covering them to their to their west this guy here is swimming look at this guy He's swimming, it's a swimming pool. <laughs> so how this is can be a location by Allah and you know this garbage. In my house location is better than his house location. There's no flood can happen to my house. We go back to the comment so we can love more. Just by making fun of other does not elevate your status of knowledge. Any one who cannot see, well, what is that? You, you are the one who make fun of our belief. Your prophet, he made fun of us, he called us names, and now you are saying making fun. I'm not making fun of anyone, I'm just laughing at you. You're stupid. God, he chose a location for a house. And God, he sent Adam so tall. And God, okay, hold on. Are you making fun of your prophet? Are you making fun of your prophet? Read carefully. This is your prophet saying, and this is Sahih. Allah created Adam in his image. He's studying, he's studying the statement from the book of Genesis that God created Adam in his image. And then Muhammad, he add his own fantasy now, information, that and Allah bless him, grant him peace. And he, his height was 60 spans. 60 spans. I'm using the knowledge which the Prophet of Allah he gave to me. I'm asking you a question. If Adam at all is 60 spans and he is the one who built the Kaaba, why the Kaaba in the size of his foot? Maybe the Kaaba was a chair he sat on it. If Adam is so giant, so big, so huge, and then the Kaaba is few meters, I'm thinking that maybe the Kaaba was not really a house to worship, but rather was a table or a small or a small chair. Adam he sat in it. Think about it this way. And again, I have to use my fantastic art skills. So this is the Kaaba. How perfect, unbelievable. I mean, who can do that? Nobody. I wish my grandma, she come from her grave and see what I can do. So this is the Kaaba, brother. And here there's the, the black stone, which is in the shape of a private part, Alhamdulillah. And Allah, you know, he's a very decent God, but yet we uh, order us to kiss a stone in the shape of a private part. Huh? This is the private part, black stone. And Adam is so tall. Let us make uh, the screen different. Hold on. We will make the screen so tall now. Okay, so now we are going to draw Adam. Focus with me, Vogas. Please, Vogas. So this is the foot of Adam. It's like the, the boat of uh, Noah. This is the foot of Adam. And now 
We go up a brother, and this is his knee. Here. And then we continue. We continue, brother. And then here there is his, <clears throat> you know, you know. So brother, this is Adam, and now this is the waist of Adam. At that time, Adam, he used to be a cowboy. He used to have two guns here. Hmm? This is the hostler, you know, gun. And then Adam continue keep going. Hey, Uncle Adam, how are you, grandfather? You are so tall, man. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I'm going to take selfie with you, Allah. I mean, Adam, you are so tall. So Adam, keep going, keep going. Okay, so the Kaaba is in the sm so small, and he is so big. It's not even good to sit on it. Now be honest with me. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of someone is so good in art like this before? I mean, come on. Let us be. Let us be honest here. I mean, have okay. I want to. I want to speak to mothers because mothers is the one who defend their children. Have you mothers see someone is so skilled of any of your sons like me? Can your son do? draw a drawing like this I mean just face it can can you okay don't feel don't okay hold on don't feel bad about your sons I'm going to open a school to teach them how to draw okay don't feel bad take it easy it's a Christmas I don't want you to be sad it's not good time to be sad now okay we have corona enough so I'm going to open a classroom to teach your children even if they are in their 30 to teach them how to draw like this especially this gun thing i mean this is actually i missed here the <clears throat> yeah this is better now hmm? do we have any muslim have an answer so adam is that tall and the kaaba is so small what happened shrink maybe he put it in the microwave Hmm? <laughs> you will never join. <laughs> you see those people, they are afraid of from the fees. They think I will charge them a lot because I'm very like, you know, high skills. Usually, you know, if you are learn, learning from a real artist, they charge a lot for the classroom, right? <laughs> no, I don't charge a lot. I will charge you as Muhammad. Very, very little. You know, it just, uh, you know, camels, your camels and your farm. And I promise you a corner lot in the heaven, the same as he did to the Jah Jah. All right. <clears throat> Shall we stop here? Guys, did you have a good time? Do you see how easy to refute this stupid cult? It's really, really upsetting me to see Christians when they speak to Muslims, they do not know how to talk to them. When a Muslim, he says something to you, the answer is there. Just get him busted. It's even in his question. And this is what I do. Do you notice? Don't let their stupidity get, don't let them get away with it. Never. And this is why they fear to debate me. I don't let them get away with what they just said. Anything you say in front of me, you are going to be responsible for it. Now the Muslim is angry and he is using the word bull, bullshit. Eh? How nice of you, okay. You make your own theories. Why it's all my theories? This is your Islamic dictionary saying that the word Allah coming from the word Hilal and the word Hilal is the great serpent, the greatest snake. 
Let us continue. <clears throat> Uh, here, no, no, Nora answering the Muslim, he's saying, uh, what Samaritan? The Muslim said that Samaritan, I don't know, I missed that part. What Samaritan? Your God is a uh, to Christian God. Please be noticed that the Christian's God will never assign a pedophile as his messenger. This has never happened in the history and will not happen in the end, to the end of the world. Very nice answer. The Muslim now, he will get you busted. Look what the Muslim will say. Uh, let us see what the Muslim okay the Muslim now is answering he says hey Nura look at this website what about your source also with the file you stupid idiot even the website you, you post for us is not even a biblical website even there doesn't say that you marry a child she is six years old if I open the website right now everybody will laugh at you here we go this is the website you chose for us, and it's not a Christian website. Let's get, get a question. Anyone can post a question, idiot. Oh, actually, it says biblical answer. Okay, sorry, I, I apologize. Does the Bible say that, uh, what is the proper age? Read with me, you idiot. You are the one who posts for me. It doesn't say anywhere that the Bible say an age. Nowhere it says that. And here they are saying to you that usually they do that at the age of 13 or 12. Usually, in the old days. But nowhere in the Bible it says what the age. So let us assume it is 13. Even the Muslim, they say that in uh, Wakabidia of uh, the church, whatever, somewhere, it says that Mary, she got married. Uh, uh, she gave birth to Jesus at the age of 13. You idiot. Mary, she was a virgin. And in order to give birth, she had to be a woman. So let us assume for the sake of argument, she was 13, but must, must be, she must be a woman. Otherwise, she would die. She had to be able to do so. Otherwise, young girls, they cannot deliver. Here you notice that the Muslim, he tried to refute us, saying, but the file. But look, 13 years old, and she was not yet married. She is still a virgin. And this is nowhere it says that in the Bible. This is what people say, a word of a mouth, which is not our source. So don't say our source. Secondly, 13 years old is three times almost older than Aisha. Aisha, she was six in the Islamic calendar, which means she is five. If we say 13, how many six we have? Let us see. Let me teach you mathematics. And again, nowhere in the Bible it says 12 or 13. You can all read all the verses they are posting for you. Nowhere it says that. No, we are talking in Arabic. So, if we say, Aisha, she was six. Uh -huh. She was, uh, talking in Arabic again. Six. Plus another six. Plus another one. That is equal to 13. How that is the same? Do you see how they lie? How 13 is the same. But nowhere in the Bible it says that. You can read the whole article there. Nowhere it says any age. But they are saying to you that some girls, they reach the, the age of puberty when they are in the age of maybe 12, maybe age 12, 13, maybe 14, maybe 15. Every girl is different. But nowhere in the Bible it says that. The Bible says clearly that the man... He will leave his family, his father, his mother, and he will be with his women. Women. When the Bible speaks about Mary, in the Old Testament, it says that the virgin will give birth. That is the miracle. But in order for Mary to give birth, she has to be a woman. able to carry a child and to have a child and to deliver a child. Aisha at the age of 14, who have the reference you remember? Aisha at the age of 14, still she don't have her period. And this is why the hadith says because of that she was allowed. If the admin have the hadith, he can post it for you. This is why she was allowed to play with the, with the dolls.
So when the Muslim, he defend that his prophet is a pedophile, he posts for us a Christian website, but the Christian website nowhere it says what you are saying, you are a liar. Posting, saying your source, resource is a pedophile, where? He show us. Right? Or you might find a Muslim says, Oh, you know, it says uh, uh, kill them and take their, the children of the women. The children of the women, they are not the children. I am a child of my mother. But doesn't mean I am a children. I mean a child. I think sometimes I am. You know, like, I mean, yeah. You know. Uh, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I mean, stupid people, man. They try to defend their prophet in a very stupid way. Even some of them, they will say to you, do you know that he married Rebecca when she was 13? Where it says that? Show me the verse. I mean, why you lie? Shame on you. Liars, these deceivers, they try to defend their prophet in any way they can or they could. But we are here to get you busted. So, I want to say, guys, thank you for being here. If you like our channel don't forget to download our videos because we don't keep i don't keep my videos you see i don't make my videos for myself oh hold on this guy he made a comment too about my why i delete my videos hold on hold on uh, you know just hold on he discovered why i deleted my videos he said i delete my videos because i know i'm not telling the truth mm -hmm. But I keep saying to the people, download my videos, and you can download them too, and get them bust, get me busted. <laughs> Where he said that? Let me see. Uh, please, the Christian Prince, don't remove. Here we go. Sir, please, don't remove. Don't call me sir, my friend. I am your brother in Christ. Don't say to me, sir. I'm just your brother. I'm no one. I'm not a priest, not a bishop. No one. No one. Literally. Sir, please, oh, sir, please don't remove the video at least five hours cause we cannot download it with voice okay i will keep it for some hours he said here the muslim the angry muslim he removes he removes from because he know he is telling bunch of lies really are you sure <laughs> idiot I remove them because you Muslims cannot handle the truth and you keep crying to YouTube this guy this guy and then YouTube come to me so we ask Christians to download the videos and they will spread them all over and look what you did you wanted to fight me by reporting my videos but by your help now we have the videos all over you can search the same title of any video I took down you will find it there it is you who is helping us. So, because my videos are so harmful to the cult of Muhammad, you cannot take it. You see, all the Christians who, uh, David Wood, Jay Smith, I mean, they post the video, they keep it there. You can go and find a video for David Wood from 10 years ago. For me, I cannot keep my videos for 10 hours. Do you know how many videos I made until now? I mean, thousands, how many hours? years years of my life fighting the faith of muhammad years if i calculate all the hours together they are many 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 years yet i don't have a video on my channel because my videos are very damaging for your cult and muslims leave islam left and right because you cannot refute me and you cannot debate me and each one of you he says I want to debate him face to face because you know I don't do that you run away from me like rabbits you want to debate people who don't speak Arabic who do not know much you want to debate people who have a blue eyes but not a person who is an Arab in my present you are a rabbit when I leave you are a lion so the rabbit you, instead of saying I am lying, what about you call me and get me busted? Is that fair, guys? 
as long he is saying a bunch of lies, that will be very easy to get me busted. They make videos to refute me, but nobody really can refute me. Because if you can't really refute me, you will call me and make everybody laugh at me. Making videos, say whatever you want about me in my back doesn't make you a hero. Get me busted. Uh, Zinjabi saying, thank you, CP, for training us. Exactly, this is what I'm doing here. I'm not really debating Muslims. They don't dare to debate me. You know, they used to call and etc. But they are so scared now. Your reputation speed you. I am here because I want to show you Christians how you read, how you answer, how you analyze, how you corner them. Many times I said, I don't like how a Christian debate Muslims. You let them go with their lies, focus in the question. In the same time, before you start engaging with debating someone about his religion, it doesn't matter what the religion is, you should study his religion very well. I'm not going to debate someone who's a Hindu and do not know much about it. I will not debate someone who's Buddha and I know nothing about it. I can debate an atheist because he had nothing to learn about it except that he used to be monkeys. <laughs> Once an atheist, he did beat me, man. He said to me, Christian Prince, do you like banana? I said, yeah. He said, you're a monkey. And he won the debate in two seconds. I mean, I never thought about it this way. I mean, you like a banana. I was innocent in the answer, you know, but looked like the nature of the monkey spoke from inside me. Do you like banana? I mean, how in the world I would know that he wanted to prove that I am, you know, originally we are monkeys. You know, so look how easy an atheist he can debate you. Do you like banana? I say yes. He said, "Okay, got you, get you busted. You are a monkey." Find me one monkey don't like banana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Uh, okay, this is explain why Middle Eastern we are very hairy. Once I was in the swimming pool, they kicked me out. They said, "Sir, you cannot swim with your clothing." I said, "I'm not wearing clothing. This is my hair, you idiot." Unbelievable. So we cannot debate an atheist because an atheist is simply is a, is a, is a, is a guy in a drugs. You don't know what to talk to him about. He has no book. He is just a crazy guy. You know, theory, Big Bang. Is the Big Bang is a fact? You know, yeah, it's a Big Bang. It's a fact. We are. Actually, as long as I talk about the Big Bang, you know, one of the funny things about the Big Bang, that there was nothing and nothing, nothing and that nothing exploded. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I love it. Okay, so I opened the refrigerator and there was nothing in the refrigerator. And then I ate nothing which explode. But you just said there was nothing. What explode? Nothing? There was nothing and nothing explode. That's, that is really smart. That is really genius. And then they said to you, no, no, there was something and that something explode. So why you say that this is the beginning of life of the Big Bang? There is something. <laughs> so if there is something or there's nothing, Idiot, unbelievable, crazy people, you know. Yeah, but my advice for you now, from now on, if an atheist, because I don't want to, what happened to me, I get humiliated, man. Humiliated. When the atheist, he said to me, do you like, uh, and by the way, as long as we are talking about monkeys, do you know that monkeys, they follow Allah and they practice Sharia law? If you have my book, Six and Allah, you will find the story with full details about a female monkey who cheated in her husband. And that's why I'm saying to you, never marry a monkey. Never, ever, ever. They are not trustworthy and they play games and they cheat on, on you for the first one he have a better banana. This is the hadith in the front of you. It's Sahih al-Bukhari. So Muslim cannot say it's weak. During the pre-period, during the pre-period of the ignorance, Muslims, they consider that before Islam, people are ignorant, supposedly, and they are the smart one. I saw, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. <laughs> yeah, a lot of monkeys, man. And she is she monkey alone. I mean, all women, sexual harassment exists from that time. I mean, do you know the sexual harassment? Here we go. Female monkey, she is beautiful. And she is wearing a skirt. And then 
she was surrounded by number of monkeys we can assume they are chimpanzee for the sake of argument they were stoning it if 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 Islamic capital punishment because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse <laughs> <laughs> guys if one day i did not come up to speak because i'm dead you know what i am why i'm why i'm going to die mm. oh boy she committed sexual intercourse illegal brother brother are you sure brother Yes, brother, this is a true story. And, I, not, and not only that, he said, look, I mean, look at this donkey liar. And I also stoned it along with them. If, 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 if. So the guy, he came to the monkey, he said, monkey is what she did. Uh, as he committed, uh, ha, ha, ha. he speak monkey language, you know, like a monkey language is very, you know, Muslims, they speak that, you know, any languages. So, uh, 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 he, I asked the monkeys what she did. Uh, they said she committed illegal sex. She did commit illegal sex intercourse. Filthy monkey. She st he grabbed the stones and he started throwing stoning the monkey. And uh, you know, should you know that it's a true it, it, it story. What is this? And then the Muslim will say to me, "Who believe your lies?" <laughs> Christian Prince, you are a liar, okay, my, my friend, but this is Sahih Bukhari. It, in, no, the story in Sahih Bukhari is true, but you are a liar. Ah. So the monkey, she committed illegal sexual intercourse. Uh -huh. Actually, if you have my book, you will see the details. In the true story, here they are just quoting a little bit of the story, that she was asleep, actually her husband was asleep, Mr. Monkey Chapanzi, or Gorilla, was sleeping over her arm. And then uh, she saw other monkey from behind the tree. Looked like he is handsome, you know? What you can do? I mean, <laughs> look, you know, he looked better, hello. So she got, uh, you know, tempted by the handsome boy. So the other monkey from behind the tree, he plink for her, you know, plink, you know, plink. Yeah, like Fifi when he plink about with the video, you know, Habibi, you know, he say Habibi and he plink. Yeah, he is one of those guys, you know? So. He plinked to her, and then she took her arm slowly from under the head of her husband. And the husband is sleeping so ignorant. Hey, hey brothers, if your wife, she put her arm under your head when you sleep, I'm warning you, something fizzy there. Be careful. From now on, if your wife, she said to you, I want to put my arm under your head, don't do it. She will wait until you sleep, brother. And then she will take her arm slowly because this is how she can examine if you are asleep or not. You will notice, you will wake up, you don't wake up. I mean, hello. <laughs> but if her hand is not there, she have no excuse to move you. So she will put her arm under your uh, head and then she will take it away slowly 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 and then uh, you know you don't uh, okay. now she knew that you as a monkey still sleep and then she will go open the door and she go with the other monkey who is more handsome than you, obviously? Hello? <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, look at me. I'm a lot way handsome than you. So, and then she will go and do boom, boom. And then, brother, after they finish the boom, boom business, she come back to the bedroom and she put her hand under your head. But look what happened in this story. When she come back and she put her hand under his head, he start to sniff. And this is something you cannot do because monkeys are animals. They can sniff. Can you sniff? No, you cannot. So he started sniffing this monkey. <laughs> and then he noticed that she smelled like sperm. 
that's deep. And then he's when he started sniffing, you know sniffing where, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, I cannot go there. Don't ask me where. Okay? So he sniff and he sniffed their sperm and then he started screaming Allahu Akbar and then the monkeys came and they make a you know they surround her but the other male monkey you notice here in the story the male monkey ran away. I mean always it fell in the head of the female. Where is the guy? Where is Mr. Chapanzi, the one who stepped with her? <laughs> yeah, the guy, he have a Ferrari. He jumped in the Lamborghini and Tony, you know, he went to the Italy. So they cannot catch him. He went to the jungle. He is a boy, you know, he's a very fast boy. So they got the girl only because the girl, she fell down. She, you know, they chase her. You know, okay, this is a monkey and she is a female. And imagine she is running in the jungle. It's very easy to trace them because the lips stick will fall down. <laughs> The nail paint will fade down from the purse. So they have always a trace for the girl, you know, and then the, the, the high heels will broke and they will have, a, so it's very easy to trace her. So she, the guy was able to leave and run away, but the female monkey, she cannot. Her purse is full of makeup. Lips stick fell down. The eyeliner fell down after 10 meter, and then the, 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 the nail thing fell down, and then after 10 meter, the brush fell down, and they were tracing her very easy, you know, they have all the, 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 the Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Don't talk about my Italian accent, you know? <clears throat> anyway, guys, I better go. Supposedly tomorrow I'm going to go live on air. I don't know if should I should change the time or not. We will see. We will have another uh, broadcast tomorrow. Maybe I will do it, maybe not. Mostly I will. But if not, you know what? Let me check. Tomorrow at what time? What time we decide to do it? I think I will change the timing. I think so yeah let us see what time so just to let you know from now i mean when we are going to do it um yeah uh, I, I will i will change the time we will find out because you know like too many hours the problem is when i make too many videos people don't watch the video before it and i want you to watch the video before this one which is very important many of you will, will watch this one and will ignore now the video before this one so maybe i need to do to to to, to uh, delete this one faster so i will keep it for some time this one and then i will delete it i don't know we will see let us see always for some reason people watch the last video nobody watched the previous i think they, 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 i think because they think it's a like fresh video <laughs> They have the mentality of vegetation. They think that this is old video is not taste good. Trust me, it's the same. You would not laugh in anyway. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. We, you know, love. We love the Muslims. Uh, we make fun of stupidity so the Muslims can wake up and see the truth, and the truth will set them free. All this, what we are saying, is not for the purpose of to make fun of anyone except Muhammad the liar. And those are stories. If you are a Muslim and you get offended, it's your business. I'm doing my duty here to show you that this is stupid. And inside you, you know it's a stupid. Inside you, inside those Muslims, trust me, they knew it's a stupid, but they are stubborn. But time will come and they cannot take it no more and they will leave this garbage. For this is garbage. There's no way in the year 2020, 21, a few days from now, we will be in 21. And all of us will be 21 again. How nice. So, there is no way we are going to believe in such a madness. doesn't matter how much money you spend to defend Islam, how much money you spend to promote Islam, how many false people, famous people defend Islam. The truth at the end of the day will prevail. And people, they knew that everything they see in TV is nothing but perfectly correct propaganda. The truth is here. Muhammad is a terrorist. Islam is stupid. Islam brings nothing good for humanity. And we need to find fight terrorism.
In order to fight terrorism, you need to fight the belief which bring terrorism. That if you die for the sake of a God, his name is Allah, there is a God who will make your private part in this. He will give you endless number of women who they have see-through bones. If you don't fight this belief, you cannot find, fight terrorism. Because you get one terrorist, there's 10 more. As long as people believe in this madness, we will not stop the violence. We are against hate, we are against violence, we should love the Muslims, as the Lord, he says, love your enemy, plus those who curse you. They curse me, they hate me, I pray for them, for their salvation, and I give from my time, not only for the Christians, but for the Muslims, and that's why, actually, I gave my books for free for Muslims in Indonesia, in, in Albania, in many Islamic countries, so they can read and see the truth, and the truth, as the Lord said, will set them free. The Lord, he is the one who we need to bring peace to this earth. Love your enemy. One sentence of the teaching of Christ can solve all the problem in this earth. Love your enemy. Imagine if everybody woke up tomorrow and everybody practiced one sentence, not the whole Bible. Not from the cover to the cover. He don't even know how to say our Father out of heaven. If you practice one sentence of the teaching of Christ, this earth is different. It's heaven. It's not earth no more. We will not need police. We will not have criminals. We will not need army. We will not need nukes. Nobody will kill anybody. Love your enemy. And that is the teaching of my Lord. So who is yours? Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care.